Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Independence Day has a kind of a hidebound ring to it. It evokes an event of 244 years ago, and it seems even less relevant in light of today's suppression of independent thinking. Yes, regarding the deconstructionist triad of race, class, and gender, but far more broadly. In an attempt to encourage more independent thinking on this Independence Day, here are three other issues on which the marketplace of ideas has been truncated. First, psychology. Conventional wisdom is that counselors should mainly listen and use encouragement more than criticism. At least across the almost 6,000 clients that I've worked with, they often, as, as often, they appreciate and end up better benefiting from lots of input and from constructive criticism usually dispensed tactfully, but sometimes directly when that's necessary to crack a wall of undue complacency. Whether you are the provider of counseling or the recipient of counseling, think about what's been not necessarily the most pleasant, but ultimately most helpful to you. Is it time to question conventional wisdom in favor of some thinking that's more, well, independent? Now let's turn to education. Conventional wisdom says that live teachers are worth the cost. But think back to all the teachers you've had, especially in college and graduate school. What percentage of them do you believe yielded you sufficient benefit compared, for example, with if you had had online, video-centric, simulation risk, interactive courses taught by a dream team of the world's most transformational instructors? For 30 years now, I've been advocating for what I call ultra courses, including to high levels of federal and state government and in respected publications from Time to Psychology Today. And everyone said it's a great idea, but it's gone nowhere. Shouldn't we be demanding education that will be truly <coughs> revolutionary? And finally, let's talk about selecting our leaders. Getting elected even to a city council requires four years of press the flesh, hypocritical fundraising, in which you say A to extract money from group a X and say B to extract money from group Y or some fat cat. That process virtually ensures that the best and brightest people do not run for office. As I proposed in the Washington Post, elections should be 100% publicly funded, with campaigns just two weeks long, with one televised debate, the video of which would stay on Facebook and YouTube, plus a neutral body such as Consumers Union would post candidates' track record and positions on key issues. Instead of lemming laments about the current system and the inferior candidates it spawns, including both presidential candidates, isn't it time for thinking that's more independent? Compared with some other demands for revolution, isn't calling for a revolution in how we select our leaders at least as likely to benefit humankind? So, as you hear the fireworks, legal and illegal, and munch on barbecue, I invite you to ask yourself, to what extent am I a lemming, pressured by the mob, rather than thinking independently? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and I especially like it if you hit the share button below and share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. Uh, and I'm flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.